all right guys on today's video we are back on the playstation 2 today i'm going to be showing you how you install the game boy advance emulator uh this emulator is called temp gba i'm going to be leaving you both links in the pinned comment one for my page and two from the official page where you're going to be able to get the download from So here's the official page. So just scroll down until you see the download section. You can either download the NTSC version or the PAL. So whatever region you're in, uh, download one of the folders. I will also be leaving you the link in my page. So here's my page, just scroll down and here's all the information. And there's also the download link. So make sure you have a free McBoot memory card and you launch ELF. Uh, format your USB or HD to FAT32. And then place your GBA folder on the root of your drive. And the ROMs themselves go in the GBA ROMs folder in .GBA format. So now I'm going to show you what the folder is going to look like when once you download it. So here's the folder. So just create a GBA ROMs folder. Put all your ROMs in here. And then it's going to have all these different uh, folders. Um, including the uh, tempgba.elf. So just drag and drop the whole folder into the root of your uh, PlayStation 2 USB or HD. Uh, so now we're going to get over on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up and a little bit of gameplay. All right, now on your PlayStation 2, uh, plug in your USB device um, and the free McBoot memory card. Uh, power on your system. So you're going to scroll down to you launch Elf. Load it up. This should bring up the uh, file manager. Now go to the file browser, press circle, go down to your mass, that's going to be your USB device, press circle. Now I've created a folder called Retro Emulators, that's where I'm going to put all my emulators. So just scroll down and find your folder. So there's the folder, Retro Emulators, circle, uh, GBA. And then go down to tempgba.elf, press circle, and that should load the emulator. So this is a pretty basic emulator. Um, now go down to mass, which is your USB. Now find where you have your ROMs. So mine's in the same folder. Retro emulators, and then GBA, uh, GBA ROMs, so here's all my ROMs, I'm going to load up a couple, just so you can see that it works, so first we're going to load up Super Mario Advance 4, just press X to load it, some games may take a little bit uh, longer to load, I haven't had any issues with any of the games. So there you go. So the A and the B buttons are the 
uh, square in the X. You can also configure the buttons if you don't like it that way. So no issues whatsoever, it works perfectly. So now to load another game, um, just press the triangle button, takes you back to this menu. Now go down to load new game, press X. Uh, so we're going to load uh, Metroid Zero Mission, press X. Like I said, some of them uh, might take longer than others. Just be patient, it will load. We're going to back out and play one more. So load new game. Uh, let's do Metal Slug Advance. Press X. Um, you can also press the triangle button while in the game um, if you want to save your uh, progress in the game or change anything else. So now we're going to return the game. And that's basically it for setting up the uh, Game Boy Advance emulator on the PlayStation 2. I will leave all the links in the uh, pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.